Hi everybody, it's me, your old friend Dale Howard. Today I'd like to share some tips and tricks with you on how you can easily identify slipping tasks that are of the fixed duration task type. I'm aiming this uh, primarily at you folks who manage construction and engineering projects and primarily use fixed duration as your task type. So let's take a look at my schedule. Today is Monday of the week of April the 30th. I've just received task updates from my team members through Project Online where we use the daily timesheet. My team members have reported their progress to me and I've approved progress. So I have three tasks for which progress was entered. Design 1, Design 2, Design 3. By all accounts, it looks like these tasks, all three, are precisely on schedule. You can see how these, uh, the status bar runs uh, halfway through the Gantt bar. But folks, nothing could be further from the truth. Let me show you why. If I go to the task usage view, here's the way the team members actually entered progress. Calvin Baker entered his work actual work eight hours a day as expected so he only has eight hours a day left next week Henry Baum on the other hand was only able to do four hours of work each day last week and now because of that he will need to do 12 hours of work each day to keep this task on schedule not likely to happen Mickey Cobb is in worse shape. She's only actually worked two hours a day on her task last week, and to keep it on schedule, she'll now have to work 14 hours a day next week to keep her task on schedule. I think we've got at least two slipping tasks in our schedule, though you'd never know it by looking at the Gantt chart view. So let me show you a quick customization you can do to the Gantt chart view to make it really easy to spot slipping tasks that are of the fixed duration task type. So if I double click anywhere in the white part of the Gantt chart pane and scroll all the way down to the bottom, I'm going to select the line called progress, but I'm going to change its name to percent duration complete. And then immediately below it, I'm going to insert another row, and I'm going to call it percent work complete. So let's edit percent duration complete. And what I'm going to choose is the top half bar, and the color is going to be green. This will be for normal tasks, not manually scheduled, running from the actual start date to the value known as percent complete because ladies and gentlemen percent complete literally means percent duration complete the second one percent work complete I'm going to use the bottom half bar the color I want it to be solid the color I want to make it red and for what type of tasks this will be for normal tasks not manually scheduled and this will run from the actual start date actual start through the field known as percent work complete so when I click OK ladies and gentlemen here's the key if the green and red uh, progress lines are identical the task is on schedule if the green line is to the right of the red line, the work is falling behind schedule. So you can see that design 2 and design 3 are both behind schedule. Therefore, those tasks are at risk to go late. So folks, there's another set of tips and tricks for you. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.